Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to write an annotation. This is an important question for intermediate. First year, both first year and second year. TS and AP, in both the states. So annotations are there from prose and poetry. So what is an annotation? Annotation means explanation of something. Explanation of something. From your prose and poetry lessons, few lines are taken. They are given in the examination. So we have to find out from which lesson it is taken from and uh, who is the writer and what is the context, what is the background, what is the meaning, what is the explanation. So these things we have to write. This is called uh, annotation. Okay. This is, uh, it comes from only uh, prose and poetry, not from non detail short stories. No, only from prose and poetry. So here we go now how to write an annotation. First of all, what we have to do is. Uh, write down the start the answer like this name of the lesson name of the lesson and name of the author okay name of the lesson and name of the author for prose for poetry name of the poet and uh, name of the poem and name of the poet name of the poem and name of the poet now you start uh, introduction it is also called a reference also called reference okay introduction the given lines are taken from the lesson the above given don't write above because above it is not there, the lines are not given here in your answer booklet, that's why. So the given lines are taken from the lesson, so and so, written by so and so author, okay. From the poem, so and so, written by the poet, so and so, and underline the uh, name of the lesson and name of the poet, name of the author, underline, do underline. You write about uh, his uh, life uh, period also, for example, 1869 to 1948 like this you can write and write about his other works what are his other works titles is also called the voice of america is also called uh, gurudev vishwakavi like that and uh, the titles uh, he received uh, prizes awards rewards he received the national sahitya academy award he received the nobel prize in literature okay padma bhushan padma sri so these things are very important. So life period, uh, titles, other works, awards. So these things we have to write in introduction. It should be a, a small paragraph. Okay. Now coming to the next part is context. Context means background. So this lesson is taken from which book? From which book it is taken from? The poem is taken from uh, his book Gita Anjali like that. So and uh, what is the background? Context means background. Who is the speaker? Who is the listener? Who is speaking to whom? Okay, so that background we have to write in context. It should be a small paragraph. So these two small paragraphs, and now coming to the most important part, explanation, also called meaning, explanation, not explain, explore, e x p l e a. There is no i here. Explain, explanation. So what is the meaning of the given lines? So a bit uh, uh, larger than uh, these two comparatively, when compared to introduction context, it should be. A uh, bit larger, okay. So, and uh, half a page like that, less than half a page, okay. Explanation now is the meaning part. Now, coming to the last one critical comment, also called general relevance. Don't write uh, conclusion, it is not conclusion. So, critical comment, also called general relevance. So, what is the uh, critical, critical appreciation? Nothing but critical appreciation. So, what is the style of the author? Is it uh, lucid, simple, or clear, or hard? Any rhyme scheme? Okay, rhymes, imagery is used here in the lesson, in the poem, what is the moral, what is the relevance that we have to write. So our rating, our opinion, you are giving rating to the lesson. This is your opinion, not the author's opinion. This is our reader's opinion. Okay, this is the subjectivity, our opinion. That is called critical comment. Okay, in this way, four paragraphs, introduction, context, explanation and critical comment. Four paragraphs we have to write. For example, in a single answer also, you will be having four paragraphs like this. If it is a paragraph question, uh, paragraph question, just remove the side headings, remove the side headings and same matter can be used for paragraph question also. Okay, same matter can be used for question answer also. Remove the headings. Okay, no headings in paragraph questions. Headings only for annotations. But don't write uh, uh, slight changes are there. Just modify it. The above given lines are, the lines are taken from, not like that, in question answer. The lesson so and so, the poem so and so, written by Robert Frost, written by Sarumi Naidu, Carl Sandberg. The poem Happiness is written by 
okay called sandberg he was a famous american writer like that okay the given lines are no that is for only for annotation okay the given lines are taken from that part we have to omit here in this uh, question answer part in question answer after writing the answer just write one quote one relevant quote after completing the answer you just write one quotation one quote so that will be an added advantage okay definitely it will uh, make a good impression upon the evaluationer okay just for attraction purpose one relevant quote only in paragraph questions not for the annotations only for paragraph questions after completing the answer you write one quotation in this way so in this way uh, now, now coming to the length so length should be like uh, one page it should be like uh, one full page 24 lines 24 your booklet answer booklet 24 pages and 24 lines each page has so one page full page we have to write and uh, next page three four lines not more than that next page three four lines not more than that it would be enough a space problem will be there that's why time also time also time constraint is very important that's why so one page minimum one page and next page three four lines not more than that so accordingly you have to plan so hope that uh, this video is very useful to you so we will meet again with another interesting topic all the best for your exams Thank you very much for watching my video. See you very soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.